He's only 16, but our next speaker is actively engaged teaching 8 to 18 year old scouts to foster effective communication and leadership. He is a chief scout, an area youth commissioner for Scouts Canada, and a student at Bishop Carroll High School. Please welcome one of the youngest members to speak at Calgary Pachakacha night, Nigel Nimajirs. Jamboree. So, if you guys uh, think about that word, what comes to you guys' mind? Right? Not a lot. So that's when you, uh, <laughs> you guys are going to take out your phones, you're going to search it up, and you're going to say, a large rally of scouts. So, that really doesn't mean anything to you guys. But what the word jamboree means to me is the past 12 years of my life has been a journey leading up to what's going to be one of the most memorable things in my life. So the first World Jamboree was ran by Lord Baden-Powell, who founded Scouts, and that was in 1920, so this is the 23rd World Jamboree that's going to be coming up. And they learned a lot of cool things from this Jamboree that it's really important to have. It's just the most important thing about it is to meet people. So that would have been me. 12 years ago, I was five years old, and when I was five, my parents put me into beavers, which is the first level of scouts. So when I was in beavers, I hated it. I, I completely hated it. And my parents, well, my parents continued to tell me that I was the kid that would either not leave them or sit on the side and not participate. And I, I just hated it. But that was me when I was a cub, and I was actually smiling in my uniform, which is a rare picture that I had to dig like way back to find. So. What scouting kind of did for me is when I became a scout, I was shy and I, like I wouldn't talk to anybody, nobody could touch me. I was, I was that kid that was like, get away from me, but I wouldn't say it. I, I was just sitting there. <laughs> wow, this is cool, right? There I am now, freezing at scout camp. So <laughs> yeah, we live in Canada, I know. So when I was at scout camp, like, the, my journey through Scouts has really allowed me to grow and try new things because I, would, I wouldn't have tried any of those things going to scout camp, sleeping in a tent, leaving my parents' side. Like, like, I don't know why I would do that. So, and there I am. That's probably six or five years ago. And now I'm a scout. And I actually hosted a table at a Gardner Club breakfast. So a bunch of old, sorry, um, a bunch of, a bunch of old uh, executives came to this breakfast to help fund scouts and stuff, and I'm there, and I'm sitting at a table, and at this point in my scouting journey, I'm actually able to talk to them. I'm talking to them about the camps that I'm doing and things like that, and scouting has really been able to let me take those kind of risks, and I wouldn't have had I wouldn't be up here talking to, I think it was like 400 of you, that uh, David refused to tell me, and I got it out of him, but like, I wouldn't be here without scouts. I wouldn't be where I am today, and it's allowed me to take so many risks. For example, like with my scout groups, um, a few weekends ago, I was able to go out to a beaver camp, so all the five-year-olds again, and they're all sitting at the campfire with my parents, and I'm there, and what do you guys think we sing at uh, camp first? Like, kumbaya or whatever? No, we're singing like, ging gang, gooly 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 wacha, ging gang goo, things like that, right? That, I, I can't believe I just got through that in front of 400 people. <laughs> but, um, so I'm, so if I was a five-year-old beaver and I'm sitting there, I'm not, I wouldn't have thought about being in front of 100 people at a campfire singing ridiculous songs and looking completely out of my mind. So that's kind of where I am today now. I'm going to the World Jamboree this summer in Japan. So it's, I, it's hard to even put into words what that means to me. Like, there are going to be 30,000 people at this Jamboree, and 30,000 participants, as my scout leaders like to call them, hormonally challenged youth, being <laughs> me. So. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that term either. But there's going to be 30,000 of us for 10 days all 
crammed together. So this trip is not cheap, right? This trip is not cheap at all. So that's what my fundraising looks like. So I've put the past two years um, putting money aside and working at Flames Games, which has stopped now, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but um, with that money, just you see that car? Yeah, I, I could be driving that right now. I could be going out with my friends, coming home at 2 a.m., all that kind of stuff. And I can actually hear the bass ringing in my ears from the sound system I would have already had in that car, right? So, like, this has been kind of a sacrifice, and scouting has let me get to this place. So, it's really cool to think that instead of going out with friends and all that all the time, I just get to ride in their vehicles, by the way. Um, I get to be in Japan, so I get to climb Mount Fuji. I get to go to a major league baseball game in Japan. I get to go to Disneyland for basically a second time in Japan. So those kind of things, if I look back 12 years ago, my leaders, none of, that, none of this wouldn't have been possible without scouts. Like I wouldn't be here talking to you guys. I remember when I was in Cubs, there was one Cub that I looked up to, and I remember his name, his name was Logan. And I, I don't remember his last name or anything, but I remember when I, when I was uh, like five or whatever, I just remember seeing that kid and I was like, that's kind of, that's what I want to turn out like. And I was nervous and like standing here, like my legs are shaking and stuff and <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit antsy, but like thinking back to that, it's like without scouts, I wouldn't be talking to you guys today. I wouldn't be going to Japan. I wouldn't have gone to the Canadian Jamboree. I wouldn't have done any of those things. Like, I've been to Ottawa, Toronto, all because of scouts. Like, I, I would have been quietly by my parents' side. So I leave to Japan in 77 days, two hours, 55 minutes, and 53 seconds, I think, right now, actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... I'm going to Japan this summer, and scouting is what's taken me there, and I'm very glad I could share that with you guys tonight. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone.